<clears throat> okay, Glenn, Glenn, you just got done describing that you were a digital marketing agency and that you're going to be doing a lot of networking at the Small Business Expo. So you're targeting small business owners to utilize your services, but you're going to use Revealio as a vehicle to attract attention to <clears throat> Am I correct in that? To that, yes, and to uh, sign up affiliates uh, under me in these different areas, yeah. Okay, so are you going to be having a booth or are you going to be roaming? Roaming. Okay, roaming. <clears throat> I've done this myself many a time, so um, it is, it is an, a unique situation because at these events, they actually tell you that you are not allowed to pitch to the vendors. Did you know that? Uh, I haven't heard that, no. Yeah, when I went to this last one in San Francisco, there were signs all over the place saying, do not pitch to the vendors. The vendors have paid, huh? You can only be pitched to by the vendors. The, the vendors paid money to be there so that they can pitch to you. Right. However, there's nothing that can, is said that you can't go up there to establish a relationship with them, okay? Now, um, when you, when you go and you approach certain vendors, if you're going to approach, say, an accounting company, they provide accounting services, then my recommendation would be that you, look, you ask them, you know, more about what they do and how they can help you. And then you just say, okay. And they'll, they'll sometimes ask you, well, what is it that you do? you would always obviously want to cater your conversation to be how your services may indeed be able to benefit them as well. Okay. Right. Cause it you know, always be about them. This is one thing I've learned again and again and again, that even when you're at an event and they're there to tell you about them, you need to show more interest in them in order to even get them to care and inkling about what you do. Cause they've paid money to be there and that business expo is not cheap and not cheap at all so you want to validate them and what they offer and then if they say well, what do you do and you say oh well I provide digital marketing services you know so like with a company like yours what we could do is you know take you, you know our, our we have other especially if you have other accounting services that you've done work for you could just say yeah some of our accounting clients that we've done work for we've taken them from blah 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 sales to blah 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 sales in a certain amount of time and um, you know, we're very, uh, you know, you, you see a little bit more about the value that you're able to bring that makes them feel warm and fuzzy inside. Like, oh, well, that's really good to know because they may already have a digital marketing company and you could just say, but one of the things that I've just, in, you know, learned about and I'm utilizing now to help people, you know, see quickly the value that I'm able to bring is this. And then you just wave your phone in front of your card. And that is the moment that they're going to be like, whoa, dude, wow, okay, wow, that is cool. Then they're going to say, I've never seen anything like that before. And you would say at that point, well, this is an amazing new tool. I'm noticing that it's like magic. You just, you know, just snap your fingers. People want it. Want it. I can get this for you. Would you be interested? And they'll say, yes, yes, yes. But there at that table is not the time to make all that happen. You make sure you get their information and then you write their, the, the little note on there saying that they're interested in this as a service. You pitch it to them later, later. Pitch it to them as a service, pitch it, and then, then say, are you looking for a digital marketing agency? You can use Revealio as your venue in because Revealio is the unique right, that you have. I don't know if what digital marketing unique you have, but Revealio can be your gateway into a deeper conversation about your services. So you can use it that way because it's so unique. It's going to be the one thing that they're going to remember about you because it's hard for you to display your digital marketing services when you're there. They, they, you know, digital marketing is, is, a, is a behind the scenes kind of thing, right? So it's a good thing for you to be able to have this powerful like draw. It's like a magnetic draw and then use that as a, an inlet to have a deeper conversation and your follow-up. That's just my recommendation. Yeah, that's when you see the, the vendors. They also, I, the, the other one I experienced in Houston, they have a, a speed networking 
part of their uh, of the conference and also workshops so uh i found the speed networking to be really beneficial uh, i don't know if you ever attended any of those you oh absolutely and and um we do them here i mean i'm in dallas right now and we do uh they call them snaps and you're, you're running from table to table so what i do when when i'm doing a speed snap is i just say i am so and so we provide blah 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 let me show you wham and I just show them and they're just like, oh, that's awesome. So then you, you know, you ask them if they're interested in, um, you know, learning more, you don't push, you don't put any pressure on them. There's, too, there's not enough time. You just say, oh, you're interested in learning more? Give me your business card. I'll be more than happy to follow up with you. This is amazing and way more affordable than you can imagine. And that, let that just, again, be your gateway. There will be nobody there that's doing what you're going to show them. You're, you're going to blow them all away. And that's a beautiful thing. So, yeah. yeah, speed, speed, speed connecting. That's beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm excited for you. I can't wait to hear the feedback because <laughs> I've had clients tell me they're like, this is amazing. I thought that going in, I was going to be able to pitch them on my services. They're like, no, everybody's flipping out over Revealio. And then that gives me so much more power to come in later and say, hey, remember me? I was the guy that showed you that business card that came alive, and, you know, and they're like, oh, yeah, it was all awesome. Even if it's like two weeks later, they're like, oh, yeah, I remember that. That was so cool. Tell me more. <laughs> it's a great dialogue opener. So yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so um, I, um, with, with the fact that you're going networking, another thing I really wanted to, to mention, because I'm here and I'm amongst CEOs. I'm uh, CEOs from all over the country and sometimes international. And um, you just never know who you're sitting next you just never know who you're standing next to. You just never know what doors are going to open by you just doing that initial engagement. So my urging is um, to, to make sure that you learn a little bit about them if you can first before you engage them with your Revealio. Because... Um, once you're able to convert the conversation so that you can sh instantly show them how something like this can benefit them as well as your digital marketing services, it's, it's, just, a, it's just a warmer approach. You can convert it. So if you're talking to somebody that's in uh, solar, you know, and they have sales forces, you could just say, well, do your sales guys have, you know, any visual tools that show people like the, the major life change that it's happened. So you always want to like pitch the benefits that that particular industry would get out of having a tool that can instantly visually demonstrate that for people. Salesforce did a um, survey in 2018 and they found that 80% of consumers said that the experience that they have with the brand is as important, if not more important, than the product or the service they're selling. 80% are saying the experience. So we want to make sure that we're not too jarring when we show the Revealio. We want to be like, it's a warm, but it's a wonderful warm. Like when you find out your parents are taking you to Disneyland. <laughs> That's the kind of warm, wonderful, magical you know, feeling. Or once you enter Disneyland and you're just like, Wow, it's like the world just opens up to you. So those are my uh, little tidbits. And, and if, if people ever say, oh, so I have to download the app in order for that to work, you could just say, yeah, but it's a free app. But didn't I make you feel something just now? You could be doing that for others. You could be making them feel something. And people will convert when they're captivated. So if you can captivate their attention, they're more likely to become your customer. Whether they ever tap on any one of those buttons or not. Let me, that just brought up an interesting point. Is there a way to put a symbol on the on the, my business card that they can just uh, scan uh, to take them to the app? You mean a QR code? Yes. If you want to, we can put a QR code on there. I'll think about that. That's make, would make it a lot easier for them to download the app. That's you know, that's a personal pre preference because some people would be like, well, how do I get the QR code to work? They still have to open a QR code reader. Mo some of the more modern phones, they're actually building into the camera mode a QR code reader, which is so awesome. 
but it's just as easy in my opinion to, to help somebody right then and there to go to their app store and type in the word reveal io and then just download it okay okay it's really a personal preference some people think that qr codes are really the end game in my experience they fall very flat they, they don't perform because people don't relate to them right. but if you're standing right there and you say oh you can do this in fact, if you want to incentivize them, Glenn, give, put, put a gift icon on your reveal and have that gift be something of value to them that they're going to learn about digital marketing that only you know. Maybe it's like the seven things you, you, know, you really need to know in order to be successful with your digital marketing campaign. People find that valuable. And you're giving away a little taste of who you are and the service that you can provide. And that may just be enough incentive for them to download this free app to watch your card come alive again and again and again. And then you can say, hey, if you love this, you can show this to somebody else and then you could actually make money selling Revealio too. I mean, it's just, there's so much power there, really. I think people get tripped up in their mind a little bit more than they need to about somebody having to download an app. Yeah. I think there's so much power in the follow-up and being able to follow up with somebody and say, hey, Remember me? I was that guy that showed you my business card that came alive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't forgotten you. That was amazing. That's the best thing I saw all night. In fact, um, a lot of times, too, Glenn, this is another fun thing, is when you do meet vendors at a, at a show, a trade show like that, or a small business expo, you could just say, hey, look, can I challenge you? And they're like looking at you like, well, what do you mean? You could just say, can I challenge you to let me know at the end of the day if you've See anything as cool as this? Can, you, can, I, can I come back at the end? And I've had people from different booths as they're all folding things up. I've had people come up to me, grab my arm, and say, "I just want you to know that no, I never saw anything as cool as what you showed me, and that was really, really cool." So that's a, it's, it's all about rapport and you know making people feel really great and exciting them about something. I mean, who doesn't want to be excited these days? Because life can just kind of you know be hard. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really fun to bring some joy and excitement into the room, right? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, um, if there's nothing more, I'll let you go. But this is a good one. Just focus on, um, you know, just being a, a warm, welcoming person and not regurgitating who you are. I think that's mostly offensive. People are so tired of that, that in the networking scene. You be personable and then dazzle the socks off of them. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you you have a good one, and uh, hopefully we'll get your reveal set up like lickety split, and you can be off and running and make yeah. an impression. All right, have a good one. All right, bye bye. bye. bye.